Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a rain barrel. Um, and first, what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to work on the top. And the first part of the top is we have two things. We have a downspout adapter. And this is actually what your downspout will go into. So you want to start about somewhere about a third of the way in the middle. And you want to draw a circle so that you can trace it. This um, other thing that goes on the top, we call it a vent. Its sole purpose is to provide a hole in the top of your barrel for easy access. Just to create a hole for maintenance, you want to do the same thing with the vent over here. And we'll have the vent, again, not too close to the edge because when you're uh, using your jigsaw, it'll be hard to get your jigsaw around this big edge here. Uh, this is our drill that we're going to use to start out. It has a 7 8 inch bit, drill bit in it. We don't need the 7 8 inch drill for the top, but instead of switching out things, it makes it easier just to keep it at that. What we're doing now is we're going to drill a starter hole for the jigsaw. We're going to use a jigsaw to cut out the holes, but we need to start it with something. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the, the, the drill on the top, and you want to make sure that you line up the outside of the uh, bit with the line that you drew. And it can be anywhere. Just don't start it in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and make this cut. And then the same thing over here. What we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom. The hole at the top is going to be used for your overflow. And this is where the water is going to go if, if you get too much water uh, in a rain event and it leaks out. Almost every rain event that's of any significance will fill up your barrel. You'll be very surprised. So you want to make sure that you put your, your uh, overflow high enough so that the water can come out and you can still keep it enough in there. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing over here, about an inch from the bottom. The lower the spigot, the more water you'll get out of the barrel. Right. You can set your barrel up. So now all we're doing is going to cut the hole out. So all it is here is following the line. You stick the jigsaw in there and we're literally going to move the barrel around and uh, follow the black line. Make sure if you're using a jigsaw and you've not used one before, that you don't hold it up like this where there's space between the barrel and the jigsaw. You want to make sure to hold it flat on the barrel. Uh, that's the safest way. And then we just cut along the black line. We'll do this other one and we'll make sure that, that it fits. You want to make sure that the vent fits, and that's fine. This is loose, but again, the, the point of this is just to cover up the hole so that you can pop it in and out. So that's no problem. This one usually fits in a little bit tighter, and it's in there and it won't come out. So what we're going to do is we have these two holes at the top, and we're going to thread them so that we can thread in the spigot and the overflow. So in order to thread the barrel, so what you're going to do is you're going to get this, this pipe tap. We're doing righty-tighty, and we're just easing it in as best we can, keeping it as steady as possible. Okay, again, leaving just the top two ridges and then twirling it out. This is a three-quarter inch hose bib um, and it's I think used for water heaters and things like that. But anyway, it has a thread on the end and then a place for you to put your, your hose uh, when you have it attached. It should just screw right in. This one has um, one part for the hose and one part to be screwed in the barrel. The hose part is a little bit wider and the part that goes in the barrel is a little bit narrower. You can see this one is a little bit narrower and this is wider. The wider one goes to the hose. If you have a hard time screwing it in, just flip it and see if that works out better. You can wear gloves or um, oh, you can use vice grips or something to screw it in, but make sure you, you touch the edges of it instead of this part because this part can actually sometimes be pretty uh, sharp and give you little paper cuts. And that's it. Now we'll get the vent and put that back on and that's the barrel.